up today to the creek to see if the water has gotten less muggier than Daryl went last time. And it's quite humid today. The last time I went and looked at this creek, it was really muddy and dirty and the water wasn't flowing. But we've had quite a bit of rain lately, so hopefully the water's flowing now. And apparently when it's flowing, the creek is really clear and awesome for swimming in. So. Which would be good because it's been really hot, but then very stormy. But on the hot days, it would be nice to go in some water because we don't have the car. We can't just go down to Punson in the pool or down to the beach. It's not like you can swim in the beach anyway because all the salties, but... Still a bit muggy, so can't tell if there's crocs or not in there. So she's flowing. So heading to Punson Bay is completely closed right now because the river crossing see that butterfly is a uh, completely flooded and it can raise all the way up here sometimes. So yeah, this is why full drives should be the only car driven in Cape York. You'll definitely be able to cross it now. You can see this creek flowing here across the road. When we first got here a couple of months ago, or not even two months ago, this um, this was dry. You could drive across here. The way up there is to Punson Bay campground, beautiful spot. And uh, that way is back to the croc tent. So this creek apparently gets a lot more flooded than this. And um, we know a guy who is a maths and science teacher in the Bamiga High School. And he lives over there. And the Bamiga High School is that way. And he rides a motorbike to school. So what he does is, when the river's too flooded, which won't be too long, he parks one motorbike over there. And he parks one motorbike over there. And when he comes along here in the morning on his motorbike, he swims across this, across this river, gets on the other motorbike and goes to school and does the same on the way home. So every day on his way to teach, he has to swim across this river to get to his job. Uh, when this river's a bit more flooded, we'll come back down and take some video so you can see it. It was a very sunny day today. And the clouds are raining down on us already. Still about 10 minutes away from home as well. It's getting a bit wet. Yeah, a little a bit. bit. But it's not cold, so that's a good thing. That's well, funny. This always stays dry. <laughs> My boobs are like a veranda. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Blowing down. It's just getting heavier and heavier. <laughs> Welcome to wet season. My shoes. 
I am completely drenched. So we decided to go for a walk down the creek to see if it was flowing. And uh, we didn't count on the monsoonal tropical rainstorm to come along. And uh, we're getting absolutely soaked. Look how soaked I am. Check out how wet this is. Me too. He's and still got some dry spots on him in the back. Yeah, it's raining. How good is it though? It's not even cold, but it's wet. So we've come back down the creek to have a look how big it is and uh, yeah, it's quite a lot wider and deeper than when we were here last week when we got drenched in the rain we've come prepared this time yeah i have an umbrella jess has a jacket you can see just up here the, the row of leaves there that's how high the creek was the other day when we had a lot of rain but now it's that wide and uh, yeah, Lockie swims across this to go to school every day, twice a day. And um, there is some footage of him doing it somewhere. I'll see if I can link it to this. But, uh, yeah, apparently this creek gets even bigger again. Part of the road has completely been taken up by the river. It's still very shallow. I mean, you can go through it by car. I mean, we're going to walk through it. It's got a bit of a kick to it, doesn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Cape York is beautiful and green and the weather's nice in a wet season, but getting there could be hard because uh, the roads end up looking like that. Cape York life. Bit of a hole in the road. Whoopsie daisy. had over a week of raining every day We're trying to dry our clothes and they're not drying and this is what they mean when they talk about monsoonal wet season